And when you have seen population changes, does that happen cyclically or is there research specifically to that? Or does it seem to be very dependent on year to year um, moisture levels and, and things? So like that, that is the cycle. It's okay. the, it's, it's the rains and in the South here, it's so directly tied to El Nino uh, and the, the Southern oscillation as to how strong our storms are. If we have a, a one and a half degree temperature rise in the water surf, water surf, sea surface temperature at the equator, then that is an El Nino. Okay. And what it does is the storms that do develop down there gain enough strength that they, that they will break away from the natural currents that take them up the coastline and then they hit the jet stream and come across Washington and Oregon. Instead, they build up enough of their own strength that they come across Mexico and it will hit Texas and, and Oklahoma and the South. And when we're in an El Nino pattern, that is that sets the stage for what what happens next. And two El Ninos in a row is is what happened in 14 and 15. We were off the hook quail 16, 17 and 18. 20, 30 Covey days. 